Welcome back, everybody, or welcome if you are new. Today, we're in the supers here at Lima Land. Ran an okay time in practice, not super fast, not super slow. We were right in the middle, but we're car six here out of 13. Hopefully, we could run a decent time here in qualifying. Got 40 laps in the feature race, but this track's already slicked off a little bit on entry, which is interesting, but it still seems like the uh, first place car in practice was running the bottom still. So I'm going to attempt that. Just trying to stay on throttle real sideways there, though, which wasn't the best. I think we can get down to a four down here at least. If I can keep it straight enough. 605 wasn't terrible, but not great. It's very bumpy down there. Slid up too much for sure. Get that straight run, 593, not fast. <laughs> and he still got a 426 up there in first. He is absolutely flying. But we're gonna be starting back half of this field. Gonna have to make up some spots. Now we're ninth currently, it looks like. I'm confused, oh, now we're eighth, okay. So it jumped us up that one spot, but uh, still have a couple people left to qualify. They might out qualify us as well. Uh, the five car is not here, but Christopher McGuire is and yeah, I know he's really fast. So he'll probably jump ahead of us. We'll probably be in ninth for the start of the race and we'll see how we can do here. All right, we're getting ready to roll off. We are ninth. McGuire got up there in second. It seems like from second or seventh, sorry, seventh to 11th was like half a 10th, which is nuts. Everybody's super close back here, so it's going to be some tough racing for sure. Hopefully, we don't mess up too early and uh, try to save our right rear through this race, maybe. And maybe late in the race, we could try to make some passes, I'm hoping. Because <laughs> with 40 laps, you definitely have some time with the right rear to like wear it out and stuff, so it makes it a little interesting. Because I just ran a 305 race. That was only 20 laps at USA. So there really wasn't a whole lot of time to wear out your tire. So you didn't really have to worry about it. But this one's much longer of a race and you definitely can. But hopefully we could get a good run here. Try to work our way to the top half at least. Maybe like top seven. These things are very loose on like restarts and stuff. He was like coming right on our nose. Oh, he got bumped. Got on our outside super sideways. I think we got bumped a little, but it didn't feel anything. This guy is not giving us any room down here. We were like literally door to door with him. Seems like the bottom's the way to be right now. The middle could work, it seems. But it has that slick going into the corner a ton, so it's hard to not get the car over rotated these guys are getting together up here sorry, man. Sorry, sorry. You're clear. 12. One, three. that guy got under us because we had to lift off see if we can try to roll this middle try to keep up some more speed we're up to eighth though we made a pass 12. so that's good at least eight. Eight. this green and orange car is very slow up here compared to us it seems we're able to hold off the guy behind us at least too, which is good. 12.67. Seems like I could roll more speed up here and be more consistent probably. But we need to try to make the pass. It's so bouncy though. Like since the update and stuff, the tracks get so bouncy. Very hard to control. Everybody's hitting each other. Luckily, we didn't go around. I think we were going to go around until the 21 saved us, literally. So that was really messed up because everybody just accordioned up really fast. Nothing we could do about that, but luckily we got saved there. Sorry, seven. So we're still in eighth. Going to try to roll the middle a little bit more. Because the bottom is starting to slick off a little bit. You can see the front two are side by side. I don't know who was in the lead to start with. I think it was the three car. I think Andy got pulled. But the number one car got the lead right in this middle, it seems like. Really got to be careful on throttle, though, because it really wants to snap on you really quickly here. This track was already somewhat difficult before, but it seems like harder now. 
but I'm a fan of it. Leader did a 12-6-1, okay. So we're not too far off the leader's time there, but I think everybody's running pretty similar times right now back here. That was a really bad corner. Trying not to get like fully on throttle too hard to where we're just spinning the tires. We just need to be consistent and try to not get too, too sideways. Try to keep track of Sam in front of us, number four car. He was like 0.9 ahead of us when I looked, so I'll check back that in a few laps. Cause it visually looks like we're getting somewhat closer to him, but then he pulled away there on exit. So I'm trying to see how we're doing compared to the guys in front of us. Maybe throw like a small slider line. Don't know how that does. Maybe I wasn't aggressive enough with it. But it seems like the leader is just running straight through the middle. And he's just keeping the car straight and very fast with it. Oh, there's the five car. He's a little late. Wonder if he was in another race and it ran long, which is quite unfortunate. But hell, so far it's been a good race. Been pretty clean for the most part. Hopefully it stays that way. A lot of people are spread out. Kind of just keeping pace with the guys in front of us. Sam's running that outside outside now. Which I don't know if it's really good or bad for him. Leader's still running straight through the middle. Maybe more through the middle like that, where he goes in slightly lower, but in the middle. Rather than higher like I was. That actually seems to be working a little bit better. Kind of going more through the slick there. And we are catching Sam there, but now he goes back down to run the same lane as us. He's going back to the top though. Maybe he didn't like how bumpy it was down here. But they're starting to get pretty bunched up in front of us. That might help us. Oh, when we get a caution. That is not what I wanted. What's your deal, Russo? Not what we wanted at all. So that's unfortunate. But uh, past halfway, and hopefully we can try to get some more spots on the restart. All right, we're going to be on the outside for this one, which I feel like will benefit us a little bit, maybe. Because I feel like uh, we could run that middle. Hopefully the guy under us runs the bottom. And uh, I feel like we could make up a spot or so. I want to try to get that top seven. That'd be nice. Try not to get too much on throttle for the start. Like the guy in front of me, it looks like he might have. Oh, people are getting in the wall up there. Got a guy to our outside now. Oh, he's getting spun. Nice. He did a 360 and kept on going, but hell yeah, we got past him at least. You, you couldn't have lifted. That was smooth oh. for sure. Like, he did a full 360. I think he kept going straight, but uh, that was crazy. I think he might have hooked him in the right rear, and that really just spins somebody around super quick. But hey, we're up to seventh, so we'll be on the bottom here for this restart. What to go. All right, coming around for the green flag. We'll try to make this bottom work. It seemed like Sam was trying to make that bottom work, and I thought he might have gotten a spot or two out of that, but I don't think he got him by the time the line came around. So he's still one spot in front of us. Don't get on it too hard. Seemed like an okay start for us. Way too sideways in that corner. They're trying to run each other up the track some, it seems. Seems like higher is working well, though. But we're up to seventh, which is nice. I'm happy about that. That's what, that's what my goal was, was top seven. He kind of got squeezed in the wall there. I had to let off and get sideways to miss him. I think they were hitting at the very top there. We might be three, four wide. Oh, they're wrecking in the wall. Cool. That's a couple more spots. That's a top five. Hell yeah. I'm happy about that. I'll take a top five out of this day. I have nowhere to go. I tried to stop. I'm shocked there's been no caution for that, though. I thought for sure, uh, what was it? The 77 ended up in the wall, and I thought he was uh, going to be 90 degrees sideways, but I guess not. I guess they kept on going straight. 
Seems like the leaders are starting to run the bottom again, which is interesting. I'm going to stay up here, though, because I do like the speed I'm getting off the uh, exits. Four car moves up. So I'm not able to get to his outside, unfortunately. Try to run the bottom here. I wasn't able to slide up because the three car was right there, so I didn't want to door slam him. He started on pole. He is falling back to third here. He almost got in the wall. It looked like he might have tapped it, but... Seems like you can't really just wall ride this track anymore, which is nice. Or you can, and there's nobody doing it. I'm not sure. Because it seems like you could run multiple lanes and be quick, like, in a lot of places here, which is a lot of fun. I do enjoy it. It's bringing back, like, old racing days where you could run a bunch of different lines on an old tire model. It wasn't, like, super realistic back then, but it was. there was other parts of the track you could run rather than just on the wall in a lot of places. So I do enjoy it a lot. He did a 12.95 running that top side. We're like a tenth slower than him. It does seem slick up there where that grip is, but it may just be misleading because I was kind of like pre genned up there. That's what I don't want to do is get in the wall too hard because that's going to suck us right in really quick. Two more laps though. If we can hold this, I'd be really happy. If we do get a caution, it'd be single file, but this final lap makes it official. See if we can try to get to the inside of the four car here. Not going to try to slide all the way up on him or anything. Not doing anything stupid to where we wreck, but I'll take fifth place out of that. Started ninth, got up to fifth. I will take that all day being car five. That was a good race. Very fun race. One, two. Uh, finished one two it looks like so and then three four and then I was six so it was almost in order up until uh, Fifth place there, which is kind of funny, but we had a really good race. Where did I have so much front left damage? What I had so much front left damage. That's crazy They need a big wall riding on there. Where did that come from? I think it's easier to wall ride now than what it used to be to Interesting be it seemed like it there was nobody really wall riding so I don't know But let's see so called punishment we're let's doing it, isn't let's there, see what happened sure. here in the uh, race, though. Let me mute them. They were getting together right in front of us off the bat. It was terrifying. Ten car up in the wall early. I think that's how we got in front of him right off the start. Up here for second. 14 going to barely tap the 112. And then that's where it all stacked up really hard, wasn't it? Hang on. We didn't show all that. It did not show all of that. That's where everybody checked up really hard up here, I think. They all started stacking up there on the bottom. I had to let off a little bit just so the uh, 77 could go back down. So I didn't completely run into him. The 21 got to our inside. That wasn't where I was thinking that we uh, like all checked up really hard. There was somewhere else where it checked up super hard. It was right here. I thought for sure we were going around. Oh, that's where I got the left front damage from. Interesting. Did not think that we had that kind of damage on the car. So really, it didn't feel like it affected the car. It might have, but it really didn't to uh, what I was feeling, at least. Luckily, he was there. I was going around 100% just from these guys checking up like that and coming back and straightening out. He like tail whipped me and I was getting spun out so quick. So luckily, we didn't. That didn't happen to us. The 10 car didn't uh, hit us in the right rear either. I left that lane for him, so he didn't do that. But I didn't know I had that much front end damage. That's crazy. Then they were hitting the wall behind us. 12 got into the back of the seven. This guy's going to tap the wall. Just barely. This was right behind me. He's going to tap the wall. But yeah, we were running like eighth, seventh for the longest time until a couple guys got into each other in the wall later on. Three cars hitting those tires huge. Bouncing all over the place. I'm shocked I had that much front left damage. That kind of is crazy. I completely forgot about that though. He got nailed from behind by the 21 car. That's the 13. And the 13 was complaining to the 7 about hitting him. <laughs> He's cutting him off on the entry of that car. We'll probably see more about what happened with them. Because I think that was the first uh, wreck also. So we'll see everything that happened. 21 car going to get the wall off the corner. Oh, super sideways. He was going to nail the wall. And then uh, he just completely slid up into the wall. They're hitting each other down the straight. 21 super sideways. And it looks like he's trying to hook him the entire straightaway. Seven car had no chance to get off him the entire time. 
what's going to happen here. 21 is going to try to throw a slider. That didn't quite work and then got himself hooked. So I put that on the 21 right there. The 13 car, he was the lowest number in here. So yeah, I definitely, definitely see that as on him because he tried to throw a slider not anywhere near clear and hooked himself pretty much on that guy. And then there was a quick wreck right up here somewhere. Right there it happened. What exactly happened? We dodged it barely. It looks like, oh yeah, the 112 just got into his right rear and it just spun him around really quick. I barely missed that. Barely, barely missed that. Where was I? Right here. I was going head on into that and luckily I was already kind of pointed up here. Nobody was to my outside, so I made a quick decision to miss that. That was lucky for us. And I think he got nailed from behind as well from the 13. 12 car in the wall and then the 77 slid up and that's where they got hit into the wall a little bit and i think more happened here we were four wide in that corner i thought we were i knew we were three or four wide there so i didn't try to push it too hard on the four because uh once they these guys hit the wall and everything up here uh we both had a good run on him and i can't believe we were like four wide there that corner and then all all hell broke loose off the corner i'm shocked there was no wreck 12 car ran straight into the back him. Oh, his right front is gone. His tire is literally going away and he cannot turn anymore. So he got out. I'm shocked there was no caution though. I thought for sure there was going to be. 77 bumped the 39 a little bit, straightened him out before the corner. And then that was the rest of the race. So, hey, somehow we get a top five out of that. I will take it. We had a good race. What was our tire wear after that? 81 on the right rear? It might've been a little bit uh, worse if it would've gone green the whole way, but it seemed like uh, our car was still running fine. We were still running, what, like uh, 13 zeros at the end for the most part. 13 two on the last lap, trying to throw a slider somewhat on the bottom of three and four. It wasn't super fast, but ran consistent laps for the most part after that last caution. So that's nice. When the leader was, I think, a little bit faster. Yeah, he was running 13 zeros, but 12 nines a lot more of it. 12 eights in the beginning of it. So he was very fast. I've raced McGuire a lot. He's always very, very quick. I think he has like seven, eight K, something like that. So let's go see what we end up getting out of the results here. Should gain some I rating at least. All right, solid race, 3,600 strength of field, uh, gained 25 out of that, lost a little bit of safety, that's all right. I think we had what? Did we only have a 2X? Yeah, we only had a 2X, but our safety's so high, we lost some, so it is what it is. McGuire's up there at 7,800. I knew he was really high up there. Uh, Peyton, almost the 6K, flying up there. Uh, Andy up there, almost uh, just over 5,400 with that. The 4 car, 5,300, almost 54. Where was the 5 at? He actually did not race Silby. He was a bit, it was a big drop off to him and I. He was at like 4,400. We got back over 42, which is nice. Cruz, uh, which I think is a real life driver, I want to say. I remember some people talking about that before in a race I was in with them. So cool to race him again. Uh, always cool to see some real life drivers on here. I love that. Love racing against him. I raced Ken a bunch, and uh, he's at 4,100. It was a good strength of field overall. The last couple cars really dropped us, though. Uh, under 3K, the last few guys, 2,100 for the 13 car. But, hey, we gained 25. I'm happy about that. Real solid day, and uh, hopefully we can continue that. I think next up will be the street stocks, and I think they're at Kokomo. That will be quite interesting. I don't know if the top or bottom is going to be faster. I think the bottom might actually be quick there for the first time in a long time, which I'll be really happy about. So we'll check out check that out uh, tomorrow. If you... Uh, if this is out today if this race is out right now like recent from when you guys uh first see it it might have been posted today or the street stock will be the next day after this though so hopefully you guys enjoy that as well go check it out and hopefully it'll be a good race but appreciate you guys for watching as always hopefully you guys enjoyed this race lima land is uh, a lot different than it was before and i enjoy it a lot of fun there and uh, hopefully we can keep up this good racing that's two weeks back to back we nearly won uh lucas oil we should have won that we got taken out by the lap car last lap going into turn one finished second and then uh this one we went from ninth to fifth got a little bit of help there at the end but you get sometimes you got to be lucky so i'll take that so appreciate you guys for watching as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one